Hey guys, uh, I just Chuck here. Um, I'm here to tell you about a great program for your iPhone if you have one. It uh, I've uh, received, I've had a lot of complaints about not being able to put videos on your iPhone. So here's a program called Video iPhone. Uh, let me get iPhone converter. Okay, now uh, what it is? It's a program that helps convert uh. MP3 uh, like uh, like uh, AVIs, uh, WMAs. Let me think what else video format. Uh, well, all the all the different types of video formats, and it changes it to MP4, so it's able to go on your uh, iPod video or your iPhone. Right now, I'm going to show you the iPhone converter, but the same company also makes the iPod converter, so it's not that hard. So what you do, you go into Google. And you type in Videora iPhone. Okay, you might want to pause the video for a few seconds and uh, just wait for it. Okay, now, yeah, now it's gonna come out as a Videora iPhone converter, free iPhone video converter, a free iPhone video converter that converts video files, yada yada. So what you do, you click on the first link. Oops. Okay, you click on the first link. And then what you do, you download this link right here. Download Videora iPhone Converter. Okay. And then you click on the link. And it should start, but if it doesn't, okay. I have Firefox, so it's this is going to come up. But if it comes out of Windows, you click, uh, I recommend you click Save because I really don't like uh, Run anymore. It never works. So just click Save. And should save but I'm gonna cancel it I already uh, downloaded it so once you installed it and everything go to your desktop and open up Videora iPhone converter double click on it and it might take a while because this isn't a uh, I'm not sure but okay so now you're in here okay Video or iPhone converter. You might see some ads, but don't worry. It's a uh, part of the program. I know it's very annoying, but it's actually this program only works if you're connected to the internet. So that's why it has all these ads on it. And since it's like a free converter, it's not you have to, you don't pay for it. But the ones the converters that you do have to pay for it, none of these things come up. So if you rather pay, if you want to rather pay for it, uh, don't come to me. I'm here to you know provide free converters for the general public or uh, uh, I don't I do not own video uh, uh, red quasa red kawa red quasa whatever but the their company makes this uh, I do not own that company I'm not part of that so all rights go to them so you two don't delete this and right, so what you do you click on convert and as you can see there's nothing right here there's no uh, conversion tree queue so what you do you click on video file and then there's two modes. There's normal mode for regular users, and there's power mode for people who understand the terms like MPEG-4. So what I do, I just click normal mode because it's extremely easy. What you do is select the file. So let's just say select the file. I'm gonna click on Bleach. Don't don't insult me. I I, I like Bleach. It's a very good show. You should, guys should check it out. So I'm gonna click on Bleach 149. Now you should just wait, and it should the next step should come up. So now you put it where you put you choose where you want the converter file to go to. I like to go to my desktop. Okay, my desktop. Okay. Now you click on next this time. Now you change you if you want to you can change the title of what you want it to be. I'm just gonna change it to bleach ugh, bleach one forty nine. Now just click next. Now what I usually do for this uh, for this step, you can choose your like audio video quality. I usually do it audio quality best, video quality best, and as you can see, it's not too big and it, the conversion speed is not too slow, not too fast. It's, I like it fast, but I don't want it too slow. Overall video quality will be almost perfect. If you want it to be perfect, like enhanced quality and like you know, change this to here, uh, you can actually see that 
the conversion speed is almost nothing. There's nothing there. Video quality is extremely high, but I really do not recommend it if you want to spend endless hours trying to convert it. So just turn off enhanced quality and change the video size to iPod. And that, that way you can still get really good quality and the conversion speed is not too slow. So now you click on next down here. Now the final step, this person did it, uh, is to start converting, which is all in the bottom right corner. Now you click on it, you start converting. Now click up here and click view conversion pro uh, progress. Now as you can see, since I'm uh, converting a 30 minute uh, clip, it's going to take me a lot longer than most people, but if you want to convert like a simple video you made with your homemade camera, like a homemade video, uh, it's usually going to take a lot faster than this, but in this case, I'm just going to, I already converted it, so I'm just going to cancel it. Are you sure? Yes. And you should have your video, uh, like right here. Uh, I'm going to delete this. And uh, it should come up on your desktop. And what all you do is just go to your iTunes and I, you just put it in your library. Like for movies. I already put in some fan based Halo movies in here. Like Jump Tactics 4, Things I Learned in Halo 2, Episode 2, 10 Ways You're a Noob in Halo 2. Oh yeah, these movies are from my uh, HaloGrid.com. They're ex really, they make really good movies. Uh, you gotta go to there if you're a Halo fan. So, um, that's pretty much it to it. Uh, I hope this video tutorial has helped you out. Uh, just come back next time and see what I can do. Yeah. Uh, well, see you guys.